Mommy is hooked up. It's a little dark out. Because guess what? We ain't fishing Lakers today. On the, oh. Burby! Burb! Buddy, that's the first <laughs> greaser. There Look we at go. That. Oh, the hook is out. There we go, guys. First greaser of the night. Nice little burb it to start off the night. Oh, <laughs> came up and smashed it, to be honest. <laughs> he hammered that. Time to get him back down. There he goes. All right, bud. What did he eat? The night is early. Well, I guess if you couldn't already tell, we are out tonight doing something we've never actually done before, and that's targeting burbot. We've caught a few earlier before, back when we were just youngsters, but tonight we're actually going out and straight targeting them at night. It's the best time to get them, so we're pretty much just dropping down spoons with minnows or just tip-ups and seeing if we can get them. So first one of the night, night's still early. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh my god, boys. What the heck is this? Tommy! That's another big one. That's bigger. That's huge. He's already ready to go. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Fired up, boys. Let's get another one. There's one. Um, if that's a burbot, oh, I'd let go. But yeah, bro, that thing, if that was a burbot, that hit, I would let it, like I was jigging it, banging sand, and I jigged it off bottom, and it was there. There's one. Yeah, I'm on one. That hit's so weird, I almost lost the rod out of my hand. It's not big. I can probably deal with it myself, but if you want. There he is. Bro, Burby. Man, this is so funny because we have been fishing this lake for 10 years. Caught two burbot. And the first time we actually try to go out and target them, we get these little greasers. Look at them. They're so cool. They're just like eels. Like they just want to curl up. Down she goes. There she goes, there boys. Go. Back down. Let's get on some more of them. Greasy burbs. We're hooked up again after a little bit of a lull bite. This feels a little better. Oh, he <laughs> the there he is. There's a the greaser. Boys are on him. I gotta get on mine. Guys, I'm not Meeg's pro staff or anything, but. You should be. These baits really work for anything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh man, that stuck them good. Look at that greasy one. Just so pretty though. Yeah, that's a nice one. We're gonna put them in the live well. If I can find the live well. Oh, he's going nuts. Are you on? He's on. First one on the tip up. Bro, oh, he's just shooting up. The mayhem is starting. There Woo! he is. Personal <laughs> smallest. Smallest one I've ever seen. <laughs> Another little greaser. Another tiny greaser. Look at the tiny, holy crap. I might have the first one on the jaw jacker. I was literally just saying, I'm gonna get my first one. <laughs> and Tommy goes, oh, you're on. <laughs> we literally just released Tommy's. Another one. All right, guys, this was my first burb. First fish ever on the jaw jacker. A little uneventful because it didn't even pop off. He was just sitting there. But we're all going in the live well. Okay, that was three in about five minutes. Hooked up on another one, boys. Trying to eat some Doritos here and this burb, it rudely interrupts me. Oh, that's another better one. 
another seems like average size Muskoka burbot. Let's get him in the live well. Starting to get a little full in here now. Adam's hooked up with a bird. But this is gonna be a little, oh look at that. Look at that. Just a little one. First bird of 2018, I'm not upset. Can't really be mad. Look at that. Look. Oh yeah. That's going on. I'm gonna trophy case this one. Put that him on is the wall. A trophy bird. <laughs> Bro, my screen is so lit right now. Looks like someone dropped my mixtape down there. Boys, we got another one on the jaw jacker. There we go. There we go. The eels of Ontario. Gotta love them. Let's get this guy back down. He's looking pretty healthy. There he goes. There's another one. Another decent one. This is just non-stop over and over and over. And he got hooked pretty deep, so definitely gonna be keeping this one because he probably won't make it. Hip up down, boys. There he is. First burb on the tip up for me. Just started running. Oh, he just jumped right out of the hole. He completely swallowed the hook, so probably also getting popped in that frying pan. Never eaten burbot, but I've heard they taste like poor man's lobster. I have both never tried lobster, and I'm also not a rich man, so pretty much the perfect combination for me. And there's already another one on my Meigs. Another one back to back. He's got some nice big black spot on him. That's pretty interesting. Oh my God, boys. This is a workout. Boys are just snoozing or something. So I've just been running around and it seems like as soon as I set one up, another one's off. Guys, this is getting absolutely ridiculous. This guy don't feel very big. It's just a tiny baby. Little, little baby. Back down he goes. That guy literally just crushed it. This guy's going crazy. I'll get my deuce right there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. Better. Might be one of the biggest. Here we go, boys. That's probably one of the biggest of the night. Yeah, he's probably about 20, 21 inches. Not a bad one, we'll get him straight back down. There he goes. Well, it is just about midnight and I'm pretty much burbited out. I mean, we've got, I must have landed 15 burbit at least myself. It's absolutely nuts. Like I've, before today I caught two in my life and now I've more than times that by seven, whatever that math is, it's late, I don't know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's definitely not something I do every single weekend, but maybe like once a season, it's definitely fun. Um, so give it a shot, guys. Get up to Muskoka and enjoy some good old burbot fishing. <laughs>